This video is about central angle and intercepted arc relationship and some examples were added. A theorem states that the degree measure of a central angle is equal to the degree measure of its intercepted arc. So from this figure, the central angle is angle X, Y, Z or Z, Y, X. Its intercepted arc is arc X, Z or Z, X. From the theorem, the measure, M stands for measure, the measure of angle X, Y, Z is equal to the measure of arc or the measure of arc X, Z. Let's have an example. In circle A, if the measure of angle CAR is equal to 35 degrees, find the measure of the following. Let's just start with number one. Measure of angle cap or CAP. So where is angle cap? So this is angle CAP. It is a central angle because the vertex is the center. Now, how do we find its measure? As you notice, this cord is a diameter because it passes through the center. Okay, a diameter divides a circle into two equal parts, into two semicircles. Also, angle cap and angle car are adjacent angles. They form a straight angle that measures 180 degrees. So if the straight angle formed by these two adjacent angles is 180, therefore, we can find angle cup by subtracting 35 from 180. We get 100 45 degrees. Next, number two, angle or the measure of angle wrap. Where is angle wrap? Angle wrap is a straight angle and any straight angle is equivalent to 180 degrees. Next, angle or the measure of arc CR. So arc CR is the intercepted arc of angle cap. And the theorem states that the measure of the central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. So if angle cap measures 35 degrees, therefore arc CR measures 35 degrees also. Next, the measure of arc PC. Arc PC is the intercepted arc of the central angle cup. If angle cup measures 145 degrees, since a central angle measure is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc, therefore arc PC measures 145 degrees also. Last one, 
the measure of angle P or the measure of arc PER rather. Where is it? So this is the, the, the arc PER. PER or the arc PER is a semicircle because of this diameter PR. And any semicircle measures exactly 180 degrees. Let's have another example. Example 2, using the figure at the right, measure of angle OBN is equal to 2x, measure of angle NBM equals 3x minus 2, measure of angle MBL equals 2x plus 10, measure of angle LBO equals 3x plus 12, find the measure of the following. So angle, the measure of angle OBN, angle NBM, and so on. Let us label all the central angles with their corresponding measures, starting with angle OBN, which is 2x angle NBM, measures 3x minus 2, angle MBL measures 2x plus 10, and angle LBO, 3x plus 12. The degree measure of a circle is equivalent to 360 degrees. That is also one revolution or one rotation. If the degree measure of the whole circle is 360 degrees therefore the sum of all the cent measure of the central angles is equal to 360 degrees thus we have 2x plus 3x minus 2 plus 2x plus 10 plus 3x plus 12 equals 360 degrees by combining like terms We've got 10x plus 20 equals 360 degrees. Applying additive inverse of 20, that is 360 minus 20 is 340 equals 10x. Dividing both sides by 10, x therefore is 34 degrees. Since the computed value of x is 34 degrees, we can now substitute the value of x with the measure of each angle. Starting with number 1, angle OBN is 2x. By substituting the value of x, we have 2 times 34, therefore, its measure is 68 degrees. Number two, angle NBM, which is 3x minus 2. Substituting the value of x, we have 3 times 34 minus 2 is 100. For angle MBL, which is 2x plus 10 equals 2 times 34 plus 10 is 78 degrees. And for number four, Angle LBO, which is 3x plus 12, by substituting the value of x, then 3 times 34 plus 12 is 114 degrees. Now, you can also uh, check if the total of the degree measures of the central angle is really equivalent to 360 degrees. We have 68 plus 100 
plus 78 plus 114 is 360 degrees. Okay. Let's go to number 5, 6, 7, and 8. The figure or circle B is labeled with the corresponding degree measures of its central angles. So let's compute for the measure of arc NO. Arc NO is the intercepted arc of angle OBN which is a central angle. So by the theorem, it says that the degree measure of a central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. So then, if it's 68, therefore arc NO is equal to 68 degrees. Number six, arc OL or LO. This is the intercepted arc of the central angle LBO. If this central angle measures 114 degrees, therefore the measure of arc LO is also 114. For number 7, arc ML, it is the intercepted arc of central angle MBL which measures 78 degrees, then arc ML is also 78 degrees. And for number 8, arc MO is the addition of arc MN and NO. Since arc or angle MBN is a central angle, therefore this is equivalent to 100. Then arc MN plus arc NO is equal to 100 plus 68 is equal to 168 degrees okay that's it i hope uh, you've learned something from this more videos related to circles are also available in this channel bye